is Newsbreak 26 in Southwest New Brunswick. I'm Vicki Hogarth. Here's what's happening in our part of the world. A by-election will be held on June 15th in the provincial ridings of St. Croix and Shediac Bay Dieppe. With municipal elections across New Brunswick scheduled to take place on May 11th, that means residents of the St. Croix riding will be heading to the polls twice in late spring. It is important that we now move forward with these by-elections to ensure all New Brunswickers are properly represented in the Legislative Assembly. At the same time, there are already a number of important events scheduled to take place this spring around the province, and I want to avoid any conflict for residents. The results of the by-election will be critical in determining who holds the power in the legislature, given that the Progressive Conservatives and the Liberals currently each hold 20 seats. The Greens and the People's Alliance each have three, and one MLA, former PC Robert Govan, now sits as an independent. St. Croix Green Party candidate Andrew Sutton is hoping to win another seat for the Greens in the upcoming by-election. Sutton launched his campaign in St. Stephen on Saturday, officially becoming the fourth candidate to enter the race for St. Croix. It's a necessary requirement of democracy for people to have electoral choices. Choosing between two similar options is not a real choice, and New Brunswickers deserve a real choice. Sutton's campaign launch seconded as a town hall event where he and New Brunswick Green Party leader David Kuhn both gave speeches, followed by a Q&A period with the audience. Kuhn is certain Sutton has what it takes to win the highly coveted St. Croix riding. I want him with me in the Legislative Assembly um, so that he can both work on behalf of the riding here and uh, do the kind of work in the legislature that we need more Greens to do. We need to paint that House of Assembly green and he's going to help us do that. The federal and provincial governments are investing $1.6 million in a New Brunswick-based Healthy Seniors pilot project. The project aims to keep seniors healthier and at home longer by having in-home caretakers regularly collect health data from their clients such as blood pressure, heart rate and weight. Predictive analytics will then be applied to the data in order to detect potential health risks before they become serious. When we make it person-centered by doing it in their homes, when we have a relationship that, that creates the conversation, it can be more than just uh, data. It can be conversations about how they're feeling. It can be conversations about what their fears are. 200 seniors who are currently receiving services from Kindred Home Care will take part in this exciting pilot project, many of whom live right here in Charlotte County. The project is a collaboration with Fredericton-based software development company VeroSource Solutions and the University of New Brunswick. And what we're doing is providing a platform uh, and some assessment technologies that can basically like a, a checkup in the home. But we do it every week. We do it every time we go in so we can capture differences over time and then intervene either by letting the person know that things are changing or doing more things like using machine learning and artificial intelligence to actually try to predict when something might occur and intervene before. The job tender for the new St. Andrews Health and Fitness Centre was awarded to the low bidder at Town Council on Monday night. Although the project is $300,000 over budget, councillors decided to re-examine funding of other projects in order to allocate more funds to the Wellness Centre, as it is a priority project. You know, it's already over budget, but the reality is if we're building this, we're not building it for this budget year, we're building it for this community to serve for a long time and we want to open this up and have something the community is proud of. Spring break might be over for schools across New Brunswick, but grade 11 student Chase Brown of Oak Bay is spending this week off the coast of British Columbia working on a tall ship. Brown is a Royal Canadian Sea Cadet Petty Officer First Class and was one of a select number of Sea Cadets from across Canada to be awarded the National Opportunity. And I will be on the ship doing lots of different navigating skills, working with ropes and lines, making sure the ship is running smoothly. Congratulations, Chase. If you are interested in joining the cadet program, they meet every Tuesday night at the W.C. O'Neill Arena. We focus on, on things like leadership and instructional technique, community um, skills, citizenship, all those kinds of good things. And then as sea cadets, we focus in on the nautical side of the house as well. So we teach those skills that Chase uh, has you know, really learned over the years. That's all the news I have for you. For more stories and online exclusives, follow us on Facebook or subscribe to Charlotte County Television on YouTube. A news and public affairs production of CHCO-TV, New Brunswick's only source for independent community television.